Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. I've had a number of people comment on certain of my videos asking me to show my bug out bag. And I haven't done it for two reasons. Number one, my bug out bag is always in the process of evolving. So just because I show it to you one day doesn't mean it's going to be the same the next. So I want to get it to a state where it's fairly stable before I show you. The second thing is, is there's a number of items in my kit that have constituent parts. And so to go through the whole entire kit all at one time means that it's going to be a very long, very boring video. So it'd be easier to take some of the smaller kits in my bug out bag and show you those in separate videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you my whittling kit. Now I made this whittling kit out of a piece of denim that I sewed pockets into and a lid on, and then I sewed onto the outside of it this piece of leather lace. And so what this allows me to do is this allows me to roll it and to tie it together. It may not be all that pretty, but it does the job of keeping all my tools together and protecting them from abrasions and generally from losing them. So here in the kit, I have a number of items. Number one, I have a, a few things that I'm working on over here. Uh, the first is a spoon. I, I've been whittling this for a while now. I'm almost done with it. All it really needs is I wanted to do a bit of design in the handle, but otherwise it's done. This is actually my first attempt at a spoon. I've made a, a bunch of forks and stuff in the past, but I've never made a spoon specifically. Next to it, I have a fork slash spatula. As you can see, it's got a, a waviness to it. And so this is simply for like flipping eggs or any type of thing you need a spatula for. And then I have a large fork down here. Now, this fork is probably a little too big. I, I kind of regret that. Uh, but it, it'll still probably do for things like eating ramen noodles and stuff like that. So, but I'm not done with that. I just got done the last time I went camping, uh, cutting out the the tongs, but they're they're really uh, they're really not that great yet. So, I have a I have a good bit more whittling to do on that one. Next to the fork, I have my whittling knife, and this is actually my brother's knife, but he doesn't really use it that often. He went through a a whittling phase and then stopped doing it, and it's simply a. Uh, Sorry about this. Um, a Mora knife. It's their their small. I, I think they call this their classic. And it's a great little um, carbon steel knife, incredibly sharp, and it does a really good job just whittling small things, doing small details. And you can even use this for basic camp chores. Now this sheath I have modified the. The top, the, the part with the belt loop actually broke. And so this is two uh, pieces of Gorilla Tape stuck to each other. And uh, through that I have placed this paracord so that I can wear it around my neck. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Over the top of the Gorilla Tape I've placed duct tape. And then the duct tape over that I've put paracord, so I have a little bit extra paracord should I need it. Then this is a <laughs> an interesting thing I made. Well first I have some sandpaper here and this is three pieces of sandpaper varying grits that I've put in duct tape so that they'll um, they'll last, they, they won't fall apart. And then this is a thumb guard, and this right here is a lanyard for it so that I can wrap it around my wrist and it keeps it from falling off. But I can put it there and I can whittle like that. So this keeps me from cutting my thumb. And uh, if, if I ever run into it, it'll just run into this nice thick rawhide. Next, I keep a carpenter's pencil in here. This is useful because I can sharpen it up and I can draw a, a template on whatever I'm trying to carve so that I can be a bit more accurate. Plus, the wood shavings from j this, just like the wood shavings from any of my little creations, can be used as a, a simple fire starter. So it's good to have these things around. 
I have two different sharpening methods. This is a Gerber diamond file, and this allows me to do any type of core sharpening work, and this works really well. I've had it, goodness, for 10 plus years, and it's still usable, and I've used it constantly. This has probably seen more sharpening work than any other sharpener I have, and I have quite a few. And then the other sharpening method I have is a little strop that I built. And this strop is made out of denim. And <laughs> it's, it's just denim with polishing compound on it. And it works really well. What I did is I fed two straws through the end, sewed around it, and then melted the straws so they stay in place. And then I can use this paracord here to tie it to a tree, keep tension on it, and actually strop my knife. And it works, again, it works really well. I've done it before, and it takes all those little burrs off this and brings it to razor sharpness. Quite literally razor sharp. I could shave with that. And so this little thing just can be uh, rolled up and put back into the kit, and it takes up no room at all, and it does a remarkable job getting the knife just a bit sharper than my diamond file can. As I said before, I keep paracord in here, and this paracord can be used for two different things. Number one, I can tie that strop to a tree and use it for tensioning, but the other reason is, is because right up here, up top, I have a long strip that I folded over and it leaves a, a hollow area and I can feed that paracord through and tie this kit to a tree. So if I'm setting up camp and I want to be there for, for an extended period of time, I can set this up and just have it there on the tree. I can sit next to the tree and I can carve and it keeps all my tools right out there in the open where they can easily be accessed. Finally, last but not least, down here in this big pocket, oh, it fell out already, I keep more sandpaper. And so this is three a piece, and these can be, uh, well, these can be used for a number of different things, but I use them for finishing up my designs. Now, the reason why I keep these separate from this one, these are, again, three, but this is smaller, is because this all can fit onto the sheath and can be carried around separately so that if I want to leave this kit and go and let's say whittle somewhere else, uh, then I can without having to carry this big kit. And so all this gets put back and slips on the sheath and everything stays nice and tight. So if you have any suggestions, I'd really love to hear them. I don't do whittling that often, and so whenever I can get advice on maybe extra tools I could carry, things like that, I, I take that advice very seriously. I know I need to get a knife that can carve out a bowl. Um, my dad says he has one, uh, but I haven't been able to find it. If I can't find it, I'll order one. Um, but other than that, if you have any suggestions, please uh, put them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions about how I can improve my videos, I always love hearing those. It's, it's your advice that makes me get better over time. Um, and finally, please share, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.